On this episode, I want to talk about why it's so important that we get excited about our landscape photography. Welcome back everybody, my name is Darren, I'm a landscape photographer, I'm based in Ireland and today I want to talk about a topic that I have been thinking about for quite a long time. Now if we go all the way back in regards to landscape photography, I think it's quite different to a lot of other genres of photography that are out there. Let's face it, most people start out in landscape photography either by being having a love of the outdoors and then finding okay I want to bring a camera to capture these images or they might get a gift of a camera and the first thing they're going to do is go out and take some photos. Most of the time, for most people, that is in the outdoors. I can't see people going off and decide to get their first ever camera because they want to take portrait shots, or they want to take macro shots, or they want to do wildlife shots, or wedding shots. Invariably, it's all about the landscape and how we get out to the landscape and how that can be so addictive. And when it comes to landscape photography, few other genres can give you so many highs and obviously lows. And I want to talk about is why it's important that we should get excited about our landscape photography. So here's some of my reasons. Now, if you started in landscape photography, you might have started with your phone and it's something that's always going to be in your pocket and you're out and you're going for a walk or going for a hike or you're with friends or with family or you're just something that you pass along the road, you see it, you like it, you take your phone out, you take a shot. But where it becomes completely different as far as landscape photography is concerned is when you go out on a dedicated photography trip. This is when it has the potential to go completely wrong. And what I mean by wrong is you'll go out there and maybe you couldn't find a composition. Maybe there wasn't a composition or maybe you had high hopes in regards to the weather, the light, the conditions overall and it just didn't play ball. This is when disappointment can start to kick in. But if we go back right back to the basics and back to day one when we fell in love with landscape photography, can you remember that first outing that you were going on, first dedicated trip? I can certainly remember mine and I can remember the feelings that I would have had. Now those feelings would have been excitement, I would have had anxiousness or nervousness and I would also have had a sense of wonderment about what was going to be ahead of me. That's a feeling which I really enjoyed and regardless of if I got a good shot or a mediocre shot or a bad shot, it left a taste or a hunger for more and that's what fueled me, like I think many other people, to be able to go out and have the chase of the light. And now fast forward to wherever you are in your photography journey, it's down to a mindset. How often have you decided that you're going to go out for a shoot and you don't know where you're going to go or the weather isn't going to be favourable or you don't know where you want to shoot, what type of photography you want to get, is the light going to be good, is the light going to be bad and all of a sudden you're kind of feeling demotivated when the reality is, is that guess what, you're going out on a trip. And this is where it comes down to a mindset. Now, regardless of the conditions that you would have gotten, okay, if you decide that I'm going to have a very good trip or a very good outing. Chances are you'll have a mediocre outing if the light isn't good but if you go out and go ah, this isn't going to be great but I'll go along with it anyway you're more than likely going to be feeling disheartened and not really interested in the banger shot that could potentially be there for you to get. And which feeling would you rather have? Would you have rather have a feeling of disappointment or would you rather have a feeling to say you know what I'm glad I went out because at least I was in with a shot of getting something nice. I know the feeling that I would like to have anyway but I know it's very easy to fall into the trap and the downward spiral in regards to landscape photography because guess what it can be frustrating. Now I speak with many other photographers be they professional photographers or amateur photographers and far too often I hear people being disheartened or annoyed by a certain shoot, didn't go the way they wanted it to go or whatever it might have been. The fact is, like I said earlier, they were out, they were in the landscape, they were shooting, they were getting the benefits that come with landscape photography, they don't necessarily have to be a shot. So they were getting fresh air, they were getting exercise, they were getting an opportunity for mindfulness and to release them from the day-to-day -day pressure that we all go through. And I'm sure there's been many occasions that you've gone out to take some photographs and the light didn't play ball. So did you decide to say, you know what, that was a whitewash because it was no good or did you say, you know what, I was out there, like I said a moment ago, and I had an opportunity to shoot. The fact is that when you take those images back, that is if you've taken an image, but when you take those shots back and you look at them on the computer, you are going to relive the feelings that you would have had when you took that shot. Photography is a feeling, it's something I've said before, and I prefer to have a feeling of happiness as opposed to annoyance or disappointment anyway when I'm starting to edit my own images. And if you're out there and you're on a disappointment buzz, and then the light does come. Are you going to be happy? Are you going to be elevated? Is it just going to bring you from annoyed to mediocre? Whereas if you're out there and you're going, this is going to be great, you're here already. When the light comes, 
it now becomes excellent. And if you didn't take the opportunity to get out, you could have been sat at home looking out your window and seeing that sky come alive. And then you've got regret. Now, if you are striving for perfection, there's also a potential there as well for you to end up being disappointed. Because when you get that light, it may not be the perfect light that you had hoped, but it was still good light. And if you've got the mindset to say, you know what, I'm going to enjoy it regardless for what it is that I'm out in the open, I'm with my camera. And if there is a shot, I'm in the right place to get that shot. Now, when I look at other photographers as well, I see some common traits. There are some photographers that would be pessimistic or realistic, as they would call it, or there are other photographers who get excited about everything. Everything is epic or this is the best ever. Now, this is a mindset. And which mindset would you prefer to go out when you're taking photographs? I know the mindset that I would like to have, but I also, at times, would be, oh, do I really want to be here in this position or in these conditions? Guess what? Yes, because if I'm not there, I haven't got an opportunity. So it's about what you think is going to happen, can actually happen. Now there's arguments for both sides, but which would you prefer? Again, when you're going back to the computer and you're looking at those images and you're reliving those feelings, I was so disappointed and angry and upset and annoyed when I took this shot, or I couldn't believe it. The light wasn't as great as it was, but my God, it was good. And when it happened, I was delighted that I got the shot. It's not perfect, but it's a shot. And this isn't just limited to photographers when they're out alone. If you've ever gone in a workshop, have you ever seen a workshop leader been annoyed, disappointed, down and miserable? Absolutely not. Even if the conditions are bad, they're still positive. They're still trying to G up the group. And the reason for that is number one, for themselves, but number two, for the group. Would you prefer to be on a group where everybody is positive full of expectation and hope that you're going to get the right conditions or everybody is down and oh, this is crap, blah, blah, blah. You're not going to want to enjoy that workshop. So the, the workshop leader doesn't want that feeling for themselves, but also they're going to portray that to the workshop participants. And that's really important because if they're excited, then the people with them can get excited too. Landscape photography can be a maze of jargon, buzzwords and confusing terminology. So let's try and solve it. I want to take you on a journey reminiscent of our childhood. A was for apple, B was for ball, C was for cat, and so on. Now imagine applying that same approach to unravel the jargon of landscape photography. In the alphabet of landscape photography, A is for aperture, B is for bracketing, C is for composition, and so on. Could it be that simple? Head on over to darrenspoonley.com where you can download your copy instantly. And imagine having this wealth of knowledge at your fingertips, ready to enhance your own photography skills. So overall, I do think that there is room for us to improve in our own mindset as far as landscape photography is concerned. When you're going out with your camera, have a sense of hope. Now, a good friend of mine, Adam Gibbs said, you know, I don't have expectations because it only leads to disappointment. Okay, maybe that's the pessimistic or the realistic view. But when you start thinking like the likes of, say, Nigel Danson, where it doesn't get much better than this in every single location, that's a mindset. And you as the audience are also coming along in that mindset. So put on a happy hat, get out there, start enjoying your photography and start getting excited for landscape photography again. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick episode. If it's your first time on my channel, I'd appreciate it hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment. And if you want to watch another episode, I recommend this video here. And until the next time, schlong the